Hello! Welcome to DisklessWorkstations.com's tutorial on creating a CentOS 6 Linux terminal server. This video is best viewed in 720p and full screen. Before proceeding with this tutorial, please note, our server has two network cards installed. One network card is connected to our internet connection, the other network card is connected to our LTSP thin client network. The operating system image we are using in this tutorial is CentOS 6 64-bit live DVD, downloaded on October 26, 2011. We begin by downloading and installing extra packages for Enterprise Linux RPM package. Remember, you should be logged in as root when installing these packages. After installing extra packages for Enterprise Linux, we bring all the packages on our server up to date by running the yum update command. The update process may take as long as an hour, depending on your internet connection speed. Once all packages are up to date, we remove the NS plugin wrapper packages from our server. We have successfully prepared our server and can begin installing the Linux terminal server packages. The first step is to install the K12 Linux release that matches your operating system and server architecture. Download and install the appropriate package from mplug.org slash tilde k12 linux slash rpm. In this example, we are using a 64-bit server. After the installation is complete, we use the yum install ltsp server command to install Linux terminal server, otherwise known as the ltsp packages. With the following command, we add a line to the exports file, allowing our thin clients to access files on the server. Use the check config command to ensure network services are running during the server boot process. The for service command is used to ensure that important services recently installed are started and running. Next we want to ensure that all the installed LTSP services will start and work properly during the boot process. We start them manually with this for command. The check config and services commands will be used to disable the default firewall installed by CentOS on our Linux terminal server. You may want to re-enable the firewall later, but we are disabling it here to prevent interference with this tutorial. The LTSP build client command will be used to create the LTSP environment and bootable image. This process may take about 45 minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. Finally, we need to ensure that the internal LTSP network interface will be bridged with the LTSP bridge on our server startup. You can figure out which NIC will be used for the internal operation by running an ifconfig command. The ifconfig output will show you that one of your interface cards has not acquired an IP address via DHCP. 
That interface will be used for your internal LTSP network. In this example, ETH1 is the NIC that will be used. We need to create a startup configuration which will tell CentOS that ETH1 will be used as a network bridge for the LTSP environment. This is an example of a network configuration that should work for you. Finally, we will run the bridge control show command to illustrate that there is no present interface assigned to the LTSP bridge. Please note, after server reboot, the Linux terminal server will receive incoming DHCP requests through ETH1. If you boot another computer on the same network, it may not work properly. Network isolation may help you make this tutorial successful. Reboot the server. Once you've logged back in, open a terminal and run an ifconfig and brctl show. Nothing should have changed with your LTSP interface in the ifconfig output but the brctl show command should tell you that you have your NIC, in this case ETH1, assigned to the LTSP bridge. At this point you're ready to boot your first LTSP thin client. Since the recording of this video, some open source software packages may have been changed, been updated, or moved. Call disklessworkstations.com for support with Linux Terminal Server at 888-DLW-LTSP.